Hey everybody out there, welcome back to the channel. It's Chris here from JMNC Games, and today we are taking a look at the guessing game Code Names. This is the Disney version. It's for two to eight players, ages eight and up, and the average game time is just about 15 minutes. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. We greatly do appreciate that. It sure does help us grow. And if you feel so inclined, if the video has helped you in any way, you can always visit the application Buy Me a Coffee, and you can support the channel directly. Now let's take a look at what's inside the box. So there are the Disney treasure cards, picks on one side and words on the other. There are the easy key cards and the advanced key cards. The stand and the cover cards, blue, red, neutral, and game over. To set up, shuffle the treasure cards and deal out a 4x4 four four grid like this. If playing the advanced version of the game, it should be a 5x5 five five grid. Teams will need to be formed red and blue. Each team should have one clue giver and the rest are guessers. The clue givers should sit opposite of their teammates. So the givers on one side and the guessers on the opposite. Clue givers collect their team's colored cover cards and place the neutral cards between them. Select one grid card at random and place it in the stand facing the clue givers. In looking at the key card, this shows which teams need to guess which cards in the grid. Red for the red team and blue for the blue. And the beige ones are neutral. The key card will also indicate which team will guess first in this game. The team that goes first will have an extra card that they need to get more than the opposing team. This is why one of the cover cards is double-sided. On a team's turn, the clue giver can say one word and one number. The number infers to how many pictures that clue could refer to. Clues cannot include any words that involved who or what is in the picture. For example, you could not say duck if you wanted someone to say Donald, as duck is part of his name. For a complete list of what is allowed, please double check the rule book. And if still not sure, the two clue givers can speak with each other to see if the opposing team will allow something. Once the clue is given, the guesser now need to take that clue and try and figure out which images are theirs. Once they have decided on a guess, they point to the card. Once the point is made, that is their guess and it cannot be changed. The clue givers now look at the grid to see where they have pointed. If the team has correctly guessed their own image, even if it's not the one the clue was about, the clue giver places a cover card of their team color over the image. The clue giver may not indicate any information as to whether that was the card the clue was about. At this point, the guesser can determine if they wish to guess again or end their turn. They can continue to guess again so long as they get a correct answer. No further clues are given. If when the guesser makes a guess that is incorrect, one of two things happen. If their guess is a neutral space, one of the neutral cover cards are placed, and this ends their turn. If the space is an opponent's space, the opposing team places one of their cover cards, and the turn is over. Now the opposing team takes their turn following the same rules. One word clue, followed by one number. You keep following this pattern until one team is able to uncover all of their symbols, and that team is the winning team. Now, when playing an advanced 5x5 grid, you will see that one of the spaces is marked black. If a team guesses this square, they automatically lose the game. So be careful that your clues might not be mistaken 
for whatever character is in this position. Another way to set up the game is instead of using the picture side of the treasure cards is that you can use the side that just has words, which might also make it extra challenging. And that's how you play Codenames, the Disney edition. Thanks for joining us today. We sure hope you enjoyed our short explanation on Codenames. And if you've got any questions, you can drop those down in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer those as quickly as I can. And while you're there, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. We sure do appreciate that. Now, we know the basics, so let's play.